Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to Readings at the Round Table. I'm Jennifer. This is Badger. Got Jasmine on the floor back here behind me in her big old dog bed. It's like a little couch, isn't it, Jazz? Um, and if the other cats come in, I will introduce them as they walk across the camera with no regard for what I'm doing. I hope you guys are doing well. This reading is uh, for the week of August 29th through September 4th. Very exciting. Um, so, very, very, very exciting time here, Sag. I have been reading for uh, careers and um, looking at, uh, like, where you want to go in your job, where you want to go in, um, you know, your career, if you own your own business or whatever. I think my eyelashes are just like, I'm done for today. Um, I know these animals are. I've re I'm redoing all the videos that I made earlier this week because my computer crashed and I lost them. But the great thing is, is that I kept getting the pull to do something about careers and jobs. So now I am in the second and better reading for this week. Okay, Sag. Here's what we're doing. Um, I'm going to tell you what's going on just in case you're new to this brand new channel. Um, the first row here is where you are coming from. All right. This is where you've been. The second row is where you are right now. And the third row is where you're headed. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay. Let's get the tarot involved. Wow. Okay. A big clump of cards came out. I can't use those. Um, I mean, I can't. Like, if it was just one card, I would have pulled it and been like, oh, okay. That, that needs to be front and center, right? Um... Oh my gosh, I love me some fire people. Y'all are just hilarious. Sorry, I'm just getting a lot of the energy in. Like before each reading, I sit here and call in, you know, the energy, the angels, the guides, of just like whatever I need to say. And boy, did I get a lot of energy in for a Sagittarius. <laughs> I wonder what that means. Hmm. Okay, let's look at jobs here. Well, that's definitely tying in. Oh, there's two. There's three. Okay, I'm going to go with that. Just to... Okay, what is holding Sag back? What is holding Sagittarius back? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Okay, so what I do is I pull a card to see what is holding you back. What's keeping you from, like, going forward. Sagittarius, you have changed yourself to an idea or to a purpose or to something that is no longer serving you. You have changed yourself to this. It's time to roll with the changes. And... I know that sometimes people like come in with the devil and sorry, I keep hearing noises from the cats. Uh, they come in with the devil and they think this is bad. This is like, you know, it's really, really bad. In this instance, it's not great because you've attached yourself to something that is really holding you back. So let's see what's going on here. Okay. So the place that you were at, the place that you're coming from, is actually a really good sp space. You've built a good foundation with this company, with your, your business, however you want to put this. You've built a good foundation here, and you have a lot of, you've got a lot of growth and investment in, if this is your personal business, you've done well. If you're working for a company, you've helped them to grow quite a bit. I mean, they, they really have grown quite a bit 
because of you, because you brought it in. So you've built a good foundation here. Um, you're really reaping the rewards of it because it's allowed you to do a lot of the things that you wanted to do. It's allowed you to move in not just like financially, like giving you that place of financial security, but it's allowed you to grow spiritually because you've been sort of tying your spiritual life into your work. I'll say that, which is fantastic. Not a lot of people can do that. Now you're moving into something that you're just like, this is not, this is not where I want to be anymore. And I think this is just a recent discovery because this, again, this is where you are. And it doesn't really surprise me because Uranus went retrograde this week. And when Uranus went retrograde, he is now traveling hand in hand with North Node. And when he's doing that, it's making us question what it is that needs to be transformed in our life. What do we need to do to transform our soul's purpose, our soul path? Because the North Node is our soul's purpose. It's about our soul path. It's what we came here to do. And Uranus is a planet of change. He's rebellion. And he's unexpected changes. So he's working with the North Node. That doesn't surprise me that you're just like, I'm not really sure if I want to do this anymore. I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm going to think about this. So you're in a place of contemplation to find your passion. Here's the great thing. Your passion is here. You're going to find it. In fact, I feel like it's like at your fingertips. And it's something that you've done or something you've been doing or something maybe like a side hustle or something that you've been working on and you've been working on it quietly and you haven't said anything about it. So I don't know if you're writing a book. I don't know if you're, um, you know, if you've started a new business or if it's something within the company that you currently work in, which is a possibility, by the way. You could still be with this company here. It could just be a different direction with the same company. So you've got a lot of options here. And I know the Sagittarius needs a lot of options. <laughs> you do not want to pin those people in a corner. That's not a good idea, right? Right? So what I keep seeing here is that you know what your passion is. You know what your passion is. A lot of you know what your passion is. If you don't know what your passion is, it's right there. It's coming to you. It's right almost at your fingertips. The great thing is, is that this is bringing about a lot of change for you. It is truly bringing about some fantastic changes in every single quarter of your life, in every place of your life, because you found your passion is bringing about changes in home, in family, in your relationship, in your financial, uh, your in your finances. It's This is really a wonderful thing because it's like going, I'm going to bring change here. I'm going to bring real change here because they found their passion. Now, is this journey, and this is where you're headed, Sagittarius, is this journey without obstacles? Hell no. You're still going to have obstacles on your path. You're still going to have these things like uh, challenging you. But the thing is, you need to have them there so that you can grow, so that you can grow around it. Like if you're writing a book, you have a, an editor, you have a publisher, and they all have opinions, right? Those are small challenges. You don't necessarily have to like go with it, but you do have to get through it. You have to go around it. If you're working in a company and you're like, I, I really feel like this company needs um, this position or they need me in that role, you have to overcome these challenges by introducing it to them. You have to show them where they can fill in the blank. If you're looking for that promotion, you have to show your company what you can do by overcoming these challenges. 
if it's your personal business, this is a place, this is a true place of growth because that if it's your business, you're putting all of this in. You're, you don't have to report to anybody. You're putting this in and saying, okay, I've had, I've had some ups and downs here, but things are not as far out of my reach as I thought they were. So keeping that in mind, sorry, my notes, um, are falling. I take notes from every, you know, so that I can put them in the description and stuff. And, um, so they're just like slowly falling down. I'm like, let's don't do that. Let's like, and I also want to keep them in order because I am a Virgo. <laughs> so this is going to help you to overcome. Okay, your, your dreams are definitely not as far away as you feel like they are. The great thing is with uh, the sacral chakra is feeling, in this instance, it's not just, it's not about sex. Okay, usually I find a reason to talk about sex with everything, but this particular one is not about sex, but it is about, it does tie in with passion. That's what it is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I knew, I knew there was a reason, and I've got all these great guides here. This is about passion. This is about you tying your passion in with what you want to do, and because you're, you're overcoming these obstacles, your passion is what helps you get through these obstacles. Your passion for what you're doing is, is helping you to get through this and it makes you feel free. It makes you feel free of this that you tied yourself to. This way of thinking, this old, uh, the old, um, whatever somebody has said that you can't do, whatever you've tied yourself to, it's getting released. This is fantastic because of your passion. Because you can, you can sit back and say, yeah, I'm doing this. And it's a confidence booster. Because when you work in your passion, when you work in something that you truly love to do, you, it's a confidence booster. It's a confidence booster. And here's the fantastic thing. Yes, this says love begins, but this is an emotional card. This is an emotional card. What this is is a creation card. Because this is creating. This is the idea. This is all the work that you put into it. And you're finally ready to let it go. And it's going to go and grow and flow and pick up more. And just, this is just the beginning. This is absolutely just the beginning, Sagittarius. So where do you want to go from here? Where do you want to go from here? Because this... This is going to be fantastic. I mean, I'm excited. So, um, I want to get into the tarot because I feel like it's just singing out to me. I can't wait to see what you do here, Sagittarius, because you are creating something that is wonderful. Whether you're creating a position for yourself at your current job, whether you're creating a place where you, you can be seen for that promotion at your current job, if you're uh, working to create something new in your company, the, a company that you own, you're creating it, and it's because of your passion. Okay, so those three came out together, so I want to read them together. This is going to move rather, I don't want to say quickly, but it's going to move with some energy. That's always good for Sagittarius. Sagittarius needs energy. Y'all know that. If you have a, a child that is a Sagittarius sun, moon, or rising, and I have one of those, oh my gosh, that's energy. So this is some energy that's coming in and helping you to move forward. This is also reminding you that sometimes, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, it's constantly moving, and sometimes we're up and sometimes we're down, but not still. We're not stagnant unless we chain ourselves to an old idea. Unless we chain ourselves to an old mantra. We're not stagnant. We're constantly moving up and constantly moving down. So this is, this is all right. Like this is a quick moving energy. It gives us energy. And it's just like, okay, 
all right, we're going, we're going. And as you start realizing that even when you're down, even when you're just at a place where you're like, I don't know if I want to be here anymore. When you're down, the turn comes soon because you aren't chained to this old idea. That's awesome. So this is bringing you in a lot of opportunity to celebrate. This is bringing in a lot of opportunity to really get out there and say, hey, guess what I'm doing? I'm, I am like killing it at work. I'm killing it with my business. And the thing is, because you've been doing some of this rather quietly and not sharing it with a lot of people, maybe sharing it with your partner or your, you know, your parents or something. You're not sharing it with a lot of people, but you're quietly doing this and you're about to just like pull the ripcord and make some big changes. That's when you celebrate. Woo, woo, loving that. So you're very generous and you're very generous with yourself as well as others. Make sure that you are keeping enough back. And I'm talking about energy. Yes, money too. But I'm talking about energy here because you've got to... What am I doing? Sorry. The cats have moved stuff underneath my desk. And I think I just broke something. I heard a crack. Ah, that can't be good, right? So, um... You're very, you are very generous and loving, but you have to make sure that you have enough energy for yourself. You have to make sure that you have enough held back for yourself because you're moving forward and you need that. You, you're going to need your own little stash. You're going to need your own little like bit of energy because whatever this is that you're creating, whatever this is that you're doing, you need energy for it. This is a... Uh, I think because you've learned this lesson in the past, this, I, I just, I love the high priestess because the high priestess is all about faith. It's all about your abilities. It's all about knowledge. But this, you've hit the, you've hit a high point here. You have wrapped up and brought in so much knowledge, so much like that you are, oh my gosh, there is a little hidden there's a little hidden cat here. I didn't see that. One, some spirit guy was pointing this out to me. That there's a little hidden animal here. Okay, it looks like a cat to me, but I don't have my glasses on. So this could be a little dog. But what it's doing is it's hiding in her skirts. Because it knows that this is the safest place to be. She's learned, she's learned a lot. And she's continuously learning. She's learning more and more, and she has faith in her abilities. So that little creature is there to put an anchor down. I have never seen that in this card. And you know how many classes I've taken on tarot just in the past few years? I have never seen that, and I don't think anybody's ever pointed that out to me. But Sagittarius, your spirit guides wanted me to point that out. That this little creature is there taking refuge in you because you've amassed all of this knowledge and you're going places. And it's not that they're riding their coattail, your coattails. It's that they want to be with you on this journey. And maybe that's what they came in to do is be with you on this journey. Now, you've got some good things happening here. You've got an epiphany, like basically getting everything that you want, um, you know, bringing home like just everything that you truly wish, everything that you want. And it's going to be like an emotionally healing and stable place for you. I think that I, I kind of feel like your job has always been very, very rewarding and if you are creating um, a new position for yourself or getting a promotion or if you are, um, if you have your own business, if you're, or even if you're starting your own business or starting a new project that's bringing you in money, this is very, it, it's very healing for you because you, you've always done this work for other people. And even in your own business, you've done work for other people. So maybe you're like you're a contractor or a plumber or something. Sorry, I just really need a plumber at my house right now. Um, 
so maybe you do a lot of work for other people and here's your epiphany on how you can make things work for you how you can make things work out for you this is a very healing energy this really is so i know that this is helping you to release from this this train of thought this old baggage that you're carrying around release it i know that you've released it by the time you get to here you've already released it because you are getting everything you want you've had your epiphany you know you're in the right place at the right time and that's why it's such healing energy that's why you have so much faith that's why all of these things are just coming together this is great sorry here comes badger always going to stop and stretch always going to stop and sit okay well while badger is sitting here i'm going to pull the um cards for um the moonology cards Okay, Badger, but you can't take a bath here, okay? Come on, buddy. Do you got an itch? Come on, I got some more cards to pull. So, yeah, while he's uh, bathing on your cards. Oh my gosh, new moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. Okay, you definitely can't take a bath here, baby. I love you, and I know these people love you. I know they do, but you can't take a bath here. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. Wow, that is perfect. I'm so excited to see where you go, Sagittarius. As soon as you release yourself from these these thoughts, these whatever somebody's planted with you, I keep going back to thoughts because I feel like somebody, something that somebody has said to you or something somebody's done has tied you down to uh, something that's no longer serving you. Like it's not a it's not a thought that that should be working for you anymore. charity prayer and contemplation connect with heaven ask and ye shall receive oh my gosh yes oh my gosh this is great Sag ask and ye shall receive the goose How many of you just watched Maverick? You know, I did. Oh, goose. Okay, the goose. It's quest or travel. Childhood stories reflect life's quest. Goose uses its own stories to stimulate communication and imagination. That imprints patterns in its life. Flying from winter to spring represents the fulfilled promises of the quest. As you seek out new worlds and dimensions, going forward like the arrowhead of the V formation. You're on a quest. I love that. Childhood stories reflect life's quest. Goose uses its own stories to stimulate communication and imagination. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Charity, prayer and contemplation, and of course, new moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. I love it, love it, love it, Sag. And I'm sorry that um, Badger came in didn't disrupt the reading but he enhanced it he enhanced the reading with his trying to take a bath on your cards <laughs> um thank you so much for joining me and again sagittarius if this resonates with you <clears throat> that's wonderful that's great if it doesn't 
don't worry about it because um, just there's another one coming next week. And check out your sun, moon, and rising so that you can have all of the picture, all the pieces of the puzzle for your picture of the week. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. And um, don't forget to check out your monthly numerology reading on this channel as well. I have started posting those. So on this brand new channel, Readings at the Round Table, you will be able to find your weekly zodiac reading and your monthly numerology reading. What? And don't forget to check out Metaphysical Roundtable, uh, my other channel. It is also fantastic. Live shows, card reviews, astrology, it's just it's all in there. It's fun. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. And until I see you again, get out there and make your magic. Bye.